So before we start today's episode, we're going to deal with this, naturally, but before we do that, there is something else I want to do. I was informed by the person who made the game of where the lockpick is, because really nothing tells you where it is. It would be nice if there was like an NPC in like Mystic Village, like one of the shady looking guys who's like, who tells you about a secret outpost somewhere in the area. And that kind of just like incentivizes you to look around the nearby area. But speaking of the nearby area, in order to find the lockpick, we need to start at Mystic Village. I thought it was South Pine Sound first, but no, it's Mystic Village. So for Mystic Village, we go out of Mystic Village, we go up here like this. Hold on. Is there a... Nope. We open this up to get the money, because we're going to need money. Blow this up for more money. We go this way. We go this way. Get the sword out just in case we get attacked by the fallen angel figure. We go down here. We go down here. And then... We go through this area that I very easily walked through earlier... To here. And from here we find... The hidden outpost. So we got some more money here. We got this chest. But most importantly, we have this house here. Very strange place. You can buy the lockpick for 4,000 gold. Now, the lockpick on its own is very worthless. Because in order to unlock these doors, we need to have the lockpick at maximum level. So, we can come back here and we can buy upgrades for lockpick. For 2k a piece. So, we need a lot of money for this. So, off screen, while I was setting up... I did go and collect any money that I didn't pick up while I was redoing things. And now we have the ultimate lockpick. So we can unlock these. We got a magic clock. Use this to temporarily freeze time. Wait, is this like an item I have to use? Interesting. Give me a moment, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that. Now, now that we have- Oh, come on, you- Both of them at the same time? Are you for real? Now we have the lockpick. It's time we get down to business. So, off screen, while I was setting up, I set up all the teleporters. Well, at least not all of them, like a few. So, if we use teleporter 5, we'll end up right back here. I have a few set up, so we have one here, one here, and one here. Well, actually, while we're here, let's deal with this. Oh, we have the lockpick! We don't even need keys anymore! <laughs> we just invalidated keys! Alright, so let's see. That looks like a two. Numbers are hard, so I'm just going to write these down one at a time. And then we can just teleport away. Wrong item. So we can go back to two. That looks like a three. So the first number is three. That looks like a four. This is pretty useful. We all know what the second number is though. So... Let's see. Wait, hold on. Oh, never mind, I got it. <laughs> so now we can power up our blade. The frozen blade skill. You have a 25% chance of freezing enemies to solid ice when you land a hit. Nice. Oh, oh, what? Hey, look, the perfect opportunity to test out our new sword. Oh, God. Oh, God. I might actually die. Oh, God. We are not immune to saw blades yet, but... Oh, God. And just like that, we are now even more bullshit strong than we were before. 
Alright, so now we have lockpick, though. Let's go around and unlock shit. Because there are places we can unlock. Especially because we've basically murdered everything in the general area. Wait. So with these doors, can I also... <laughs> we don't need keys. Fuck your keys. Fuck your keys. I got a lockpick now. Oh, I'll even unlock this chest, even though it'll barely give me anything. Just because I can. I'm just gonna flex all over the locks. So I'm pretty sure there was a locked door up here in the Fuzzball Ranch. I mean, my plan was we were going to go to a different area today, but I'll oh, shit, I... But now I just want to go and unlock stuff. Now that I have the lockpick. Like this. 5k! Wow, we are... We are loaded now. Alright, Fuzzball Red should be close by, I'm pretty sure. I went the wrong way somewhere. I took a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, I definitely did take a wrong turn somewhere. Yep, I did. Alright, this is the wrong way. Well, that was the last hint. Oh, hi. Oh, hi! Actually, we have to go this way. Not this way. But once we're done unlocking stuff in here, we'll go back to the forest. We'll unlock some stuff there. And then we will do the thing I intended to do originally. Oh, hi. Oh, here we are. So what's even over here? A, sh a shortcut. <laughs> well, that's interesting. You know what, let's, let's just flex on these chests and unlock them for the hell of it, even though I probably don't need the money. There weren't locked doors in the first area, too, which is still unnamed. Alright. I don't know where I am now, but we're certainly... Wait, wasn't this the... Okay, nope, it's not the one. We're near the city of your dreams, I know that much. Um, saw bleed hell. Um, ow! Where's my health bar? Actually, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm stuck! Okay, so we're not going to unlock that door, because we get locked in there, if we do. Three rare coins. Pretty sure we have to have the lockpick out if we want to pick locks. I mean, it's not that bad to have to take out the lockpick to unlock stuff. Barely anything out of that. And... Spell damage! Hold on, let's unlock this one. More money. Laser hell. Fortunately, we are immune to lasers. More money. Up. Uh, our friend is waiting for us after we're out of here. Bro, this thing is so damn useful. Okay, we have a black dragon. You know, I just remember, thinking about the dragon, I have a level up I can use. Come here. Come here. Come here! Fight me! <laughs> he doesn't get frozen, I just noticed. That's interesting. Come on! Come on! Fight me! You can do better than that! Dude, he has so much damn health. Come on! There you go. We don't get a reward, though, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Alright, what is this? More money. Let's blow this up. Three more rare coins. Alright, let me see. That's laser hell. We have no more business here in Laser Hell. Let's see. 
Jesus. This is... Oh, hold on. Oh, this is just back to the first area. So now we have shortcuts. Who? Bomb strength that we don't need because we're already maxed out on bomb strength. Alright, this is... This is Harold's Gun Shop, eh? I mean, what's that we're here at Harold's Gun Shop, eh? How much money do I have? Oh. Um, yeah, if you use the lockpick, you kind of break into places. But we're not gonna... We're not gonna do that. We're supposed to be a good boy. So we can buy ammo upgrades from this place. So let's buy the death ammo. There's 20 percent chance of firing this boy at each enemy. Um, yo, know, I still have my five 1k shots I want to save. But, ah, uh, oh shit, oh hi, oh shit, oh hi. Get out of the way. Run. Okay. Problem solved. All right. So the main attraction of what I wanted to do today was I want to go to the next area. And now we have the lockpick. You know, hold on. Let's do this first. Get it over with. <laughs> Loud dragon sounds intensify. But yeah, we, can, we are strong enough now to handle the dragons, no problem. As long as they don't get near us, we basically win by default. Hold on. Uh-oh. 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 Come on! Come here! Line him up! And just like that, we have slain the dragons. So what do we got here? Demon Summon Skill. When you get attacked with 40 or less HP, you will summon the ultimate demon to instantly destroy all living beings in the current area. Unfortunately, because our health regeneration is so damn good now, we will probably never see that. A real shame. Like, the odds of us dying now are incredibly low. Three bombs. Ah! Where'd you come from? Do I have enough Force Pearls to upgrade again? Three rare coins. Alright, we can upgrade. I don't have enough to upgrade again. Alright, so- Ah! Hold on. Hold on! Ah! I can't use it again! Alright, fine. Fuck the world, though. We can use things our way. With violence. Okay, except you. You're actually kind of scary. Okay, as long as he never gets near me, never mind. He's not that scary. Alright, well, that's one thing, Dad. Lock this for some free money. Alright, let's see. We need to get back to the start area. Wait, hold on. Okay, this is South Pinestown. But we can unlock this, because I can. Uh, oh, you. Hi. Okay, yeah, we're going the wrong way. It's fine, though. Whoops, I just wasted one of my shots. Well, 3k, that's worth it. Alright, yeah, we're going near South Pines Town. This is not the right way. That's not, that's not good. Yeah, we're back in South Pines Town. I did not want to be here. But I can unlock this chest over here, because why not? Alright. Let's go back to Tranquil Village. We still can't do anything about these crates. I have, I have 208 medkits. Speaking of medkits, we do have a skill point, so let's use one. We have four, apparently. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so let's get this again, because I forgot about it. Let's get enhanced elements, which is more magic damage. 
Let's get Auto Heal, which is one of the best skills in the game, because if our health is low, it'll use a med kit automatically, so we don't have to worry about using them anymore. And let's get Sharpshooter, so we now suffer no penalties to our damage from using the gun on distant targets. So, oh shit! Speaking of distant targets! <laughs> okay. So, in order to get to the place we need to go, we need to go south from the starting area, which is here. And then immediately get dragged into the mini game of fun. Well, actually, hold on. We may actually end up in a situation where I might die. Wow. The demon summon happened and I died at the exact same time. That's cute. Well, I guess we got to actually see the demon summon happen, even though I died. Funny how things work. Five keys. Now, we just need to go this way. We need to get back to that one place where we fought the giant statue. Ah, no! 3k? Okay, so how do I get that over there? I think we need to go this way. Should be over here. Ah, oh, hold on. More money. Deep woods to the south. Wait, hold on. I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I'm going the wrong way. Um, yeah. This is not the right way. Hey, look, I think I can unlock. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is it this way? Hold on. I feel like there was something I can unlock around here. Well, I mean, there's that chest. I'm going to unlock it anyway, just because I can, but... Otherwise, I th think we are definitely going the wrong way again. Wow, small fry money. Yeah, this is the wrong way. Alright, let's go to Mystic Village. Because this seems to be the closest point to- OW! The closest point to the place we want- THERE IT IS! Also, we can unlock this. Fuck your locks. <laughs> so many rare coins, so many keys. We have so much stuff now. It's a far cry from how we started when we had, like, nothing. But Now, earlier I said it would be nice if an NPC told us where the lockpick was, kind of as, like, a hint. This guy is actually a good example of what I was talking about. Beware, the dead wasteland ahead. Don't get caught by the weeping widow. She will instantly drain your life if you get near her. Rumor has it, her grave lies deep within this forest. If you destroy the grave, you will destroy her spirit. See, that's what I mean. He actually warns us of a dangerous enemy in this area who can instant kill us. So down here is the dead wasteland. I think we've been over here before, but... One enemy you need to be very wary of is the zombies. The zombies have a chance of inflicting you with a curse that will require you to go to an inn to cure. And if you don't cure it in a certain amount of time, you die instantly. But anyway, the sign here. Follow the long road to the spooky town of Burdon Quarry. But well, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to go this way first. Also, this area features some of the most annoying enemies in the game, the skeletons, because you can hit them, and they go into this dead st Wait, I think I already mentioned the skeletons. But yeah, the skeletons are very annoying. But we're so strong now that almost nothing is a threat to us. But if we see the Weeping Widow, do not stay on the same screen as her, or you will die. Plus, we have lockpicks, so we can unlock everything now. We have lockpicks, we have the rock-busting skill. Now, there are these blue guys who I think inflict some kind of really annoying status ailment on you, but I don't remember which it is. Alright, well, stay away from the zombies. I almost let them get close to me. Like, when you fight the zombies, it's the safest bet just not let them get close to you at all. Don't even risk it. If you have a long sword, or you're using the gun or the spell book, whatever your method of offense is, just don't let them get close to you. 
Because when I played for the first time when I was doing test practice and testing, I came to the Dead Wasteland fairly early when I was still very weak. And I had a very, very bad time. You are not meant to come here early, even though it's very easy to access earlier than you should. You will take way too long to kill the enemies, likely get swarmed by the skeletons and the zombies, and then there's the Weeping Widow who can appear, who can instant kill you. Also, we got the Warrior's Glove, but we also have this guy. You have killed a total of one people in this world. In order to gain access to a village, you must slay a total of 50 civilians. Oh, okay. You know what? Fuck that! <laughs> if you don't want to kill 50 civilians, all you gotta do is kill one civilian. And get 100 gold in the process. So this is actually a town that requires us to kill people. Welcome to Daggerdale! The moment you walk in here because you killed someone, you aggro every enemy that's in there! But now that we have access to it, we can just go to an inn, heal up at the inn, and then go back. There's actually a quest item in there that we need to grab. So we are going to actually go find the other towns, and then we'll go back. But yeah, Daggerdale is basically the kill path version of the City of Dreams. In order to get- oh crap, you. In order to get a reward there, that rewards there, you have to kill enough care- enough NPCs. I don't think they're worth getting, but if you want to go the route of a killer, that's- that's all on you. Jesus Christ, how much health do you have? Okay, there you go. Alright. Now we can just pick up everything over here. I could use my keys, but fuck keys, I have lockpick. But yeah, we will likely never reach low health unless we end up in like a dangerous spot. I'm surprised we haven't run into the the dude yet. Oh shit. Ah! Speaking of running into things! We got a level up, but there's still dragons! The only problem here, this is an open space, so these guys can attack me. Ah. Nice miss. Oh, I'm standing in the fire. Duh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. See, the auto heal came into effect. I actually also bought the HP regen from, I think, Frost Village. Shut up, dragon! You know what? Just cuz. Oh. It doesn't require keys. Alright, let's go. Oh. Ah. I got hit by the skeleton. Okay. Fuck you, skeleton. It's a long road to the next town. Still no? I swear, I have run into the Weeping Willow like five times by now. Pull this up. Fuck keys. 4,500. We are rich as hell now. Hell, if I wanted to, I can go buy that house in the City of Dreams right now if I wanted to. And it wouldn't put much of a dent in my my money. You know what, let's hit this up. I don't really think I need upgrades anymore, but more damage is always nice. I mean, the more enemies we kill, the closer we get to more level ups. And the enemies in the Dead Wasteland, I feel, give pretty good EXP. Because they're supposed to be harder to deal with, so... That and the zombies are really annoying, so it stands to reason why you'd have more of an advantage to killing them for levels. Give our money, let's take gun damage. 
The only reason I'm not upgrading bombs is because we don't really need to. I don't use bombs in combat at all anymore. The Lost Cemetery. Now, let me tell you about this place. I don't know how to get through it, so here's what we're going to do. It's real simple. We have so many health kits. We can just... <laughs> Never mind. I guess we can just go around. Alright, so new on the agenda list is these da these magic guys. They can cast a spell that lowers our HP. It's like a drain effect. But their damage output is really really damn high if they get close to you. Alright. Give me a moment, I'll be right back. You see, ladies and gentlemen... I prefer recording videos at in the dead of night because I can't be interrupted during them. Whoops! Also, pro tip, please always pay attention to what you're doing when you're playing games because then you end up accidentally doing stupid things like I do on a usual basis. I just wasted two of my five shots. Oh god, giant skeleton. Oh crap, oh, get, get me out of here. Put me in a better position. I literally almost got sniped by that zombie there. Okay, problem solved. So, our regular new friend here is a giant skeleton. He's basically just a big skeleton with lots of health. Yeah, just the usual. One rare coin, that's it? Bruh, I've been getting better up... And I'm some these for a while. I'd just take more money over that. Speaking of which. Alright, let's see. We are going a little off the beaten path here. Wow, look at all that stuff we can use bombs on. You notice how the zombies don't react as much to our hits, but that's not surprising, they're zombies. Pain receptors don't exist in them. Which is part of what makes them annoying, because even when you hit them, there's still a chance they'll just keep coming for you. Jeez, our stamina restores fast now. Alright, let's bomb this. For three med kits. Always fine with getting more of those. Okay. Let's let's do this. I can't hit him. Oh, the other one's coming. Okay, okay. Hurry. Oh, he's dead. I crit him. He's dead. Alright, here we go. Three rare coins. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. There's a fuzzball. And another quest item. Come here. Come here. Come here. See, this is... The skeletons are still very annoying. Even when I'm super strong. Okay. Blow this up for 500 gold. We got more spell damage, the final spell, a forest pearl, a fuzzball, the zombie mushroom, and more money than you can throw a stick at. And I didn't use lockpick for that one, whoops. Oh, it's fine. Alright, let's go back. I'm so impressed I haven't found the, the dude. Ah, not that dude! The other dude. Oh shit. Um, this is bad. Oh my god, this is perfect. <laughs> Just a moment. Alright, so let's actually take a look at this last spell. Pfft. Okay, it's an explosion. <laughs> of course the last spell has to be some kind of explosive fun. Also, where the hell does this do that? Oh my god, stop. No. There we go. I am starting to use the back key to ship back. Ah! Never mind, we're back in the fun house. Actually, I might die first before we... 
Never mind. Wait, my health is... Never mind. I forgot. We have auto heal. Never mind. I died before the auto heal went off. I don't know, man. Sometimes the auto heal doesn't work as it should, in my opinion. Alright. We have our explosion. So what's even over here, actually? We are going very far off the beaten path from the town. Because to reach the town, we just gotta follow the path, but this way is obviously something else. Alright, we got more money. The Royal Cemetery. Be careful around these gravestones, because some of them can damage you. Hold on. More money. But we can get sword damage that we don't need. A forest pearl. Basically, don't just walk down the metal. Like that. Now, apparently... I don't know why the Greys attack you, but, you know, that happens. But yeah, no signs of the dude. I swear, I've run into him multiple times by now. Ooh, another volunteer! If you choose the volunteer, just walk through that door. Um, you know, I didn't do- I can't use my weapons. But okay. Get ready to run, pig! What? Bruh! Okay, let's try again. Oh. Okay. Attempt number three. We'll try it one more time. Never mind. These clowns are evil. These are the real antagonists in this game. The fucking clowns. Okay. Please go fuck yourselves. Also, why is there now suddenly a game over screen? Fuck. Like, I got that's this is optional, but... Whoops. God, this feels like Cory you all over again. Whoops. Alright, let's go. Alright. Fuck. Okay, yo, I don't think this is gonna be worth it. So let's just... Oh, hey, a skeleton spawned. The door is gone. You didn't volunteer for my game, you jerk! Don't waste my valuable time! You tried to kill me, you stupid clown! Fuck you, clowns. See? This is why clowns are evil, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. Look at that! They just fucking charge you so quickly! Alright. Let's just explodify everything. Especially you. Up, oh, skeleton. Alright. So, ignoring that whole little um, incident with the clown, we're not gonna talk about that. We are close to the town. I swear there's another town somewhere around here. Okay. 
I have opened up many blind spots. Never mind, we're fine. We're fine. Alright. Wow, I actually let him hit me. That's cute. Oh, there he is! Okay, so if you stay on the screen... Well, I can't... Never mind, I can't show up because I don't want to get attacked by the zombie. We gotta level up. I noticed that recently we've been seeing a lot of these black dragons. In the bonus zone. Emphasis on bone in the bonus zone. I don't know where the hell these black dragons suddenly came from, but they are a very annoying fixture. Not gonna lie. Because of their noises when you hit them. We didn't get a reward? Wow, what a waste of my time. Alright, finally, now we can do this room without worrying about dying. Please. Okay. But yeah, if you stay on the same screen as the Weeping Willow for too long, she will come behind you and then insta-kill you. Doesn't matter how much defense or health you have, you're dead the moment she gets near you. And there's nothing you can do to save yourself. Alright. Alright, we gotta deal with Big Daddy Skeleton, along with his little friends. This is definitely not the right way to the town, by the way, but... Alright, come here, come here, come here. Okay. More money, more money. Dude, I don't even think we're gonna need money anymore. We're so loaded. Plus, even if I need money... Like, we have rare coins up... The uh, up? Oh. Anyways. We have so many rare coins, it's not even funny. Because we get double rare coins. We have so many bombs, keys, and med kits that we really don't need to buy any anymore. Like, the appeal of buying items just kind of goes away after a little bit. Five? Look at that. Five rare coins. We also got a level up, so let's use that first. We have two, so we can get two more skills. So let's get Arsonist. And we'll get Dragon Slayer, because we're running into a lot of dragons. Oh god! So the colored skeletons aren't like the regular skeletons. The regular skeletons are the only ones that go into this dead state, but all the other types? No, they're, they, they're special. They can inflict negative effects on you, so don't let them touch you. We can't be set on fire, so I think we should be fine against them, though. Okay. More money. More magic damage. I mean, we have our big boom explosion move now, so I mean, may as well do magic damage. So what's over here? A uh, lot of zombies. Well, I mean, it's fine. Our sword range is so long, they will never reach me. As long as I'm constantly swinging. And then Big Daddy Skeleton. Oh, there are bear traps here too! <laughs> I just noticed those. 600. Got that. The zombie bite immunity. You will forever be immune from the curse of being transformed into a zombie. And that right there just solved all of our problems. Because now we can never deal... Now we don't have to worry about the zombies getting near me. Because I can just not be turned into one anymore. Alright, so- Ah! Oh! Well, we still have to worry about him. Alright. Now I don't care if you get near me. 
I had to be scared before because that was one of the few things that could kill me aside from instant death, but not anymore. Now we're so strong that it doesn't mean anything. Alright. Now there's another town that is off the beaten path, but I don't know exactly where it is. Once we reach a that town or the other one that we're on the way to, one thing's there. Don't attack me. Wait, there's a sign. What is up with these angel statues, though? Alright, here we go. Town of Gomer to the west, south is Zul, and north is Bergdon Gori. Which we need to bomb our way through. Wow, for once, using the spell book actually helped me long term. Nice. Because <laughs> I couldn't pull out the sword in time, and I was probably going to take a hit. I mean, it's not like it matters. We have so many health kits. We have many methods of not die. 5k? Alright. Got another quest item, though. And there's my level up. See? Got the checklist, so we can go turn that in. Okay, where the hell is this? It's got another cave. Yo, I'm surprised there isn't a limitation on how much sword damage you can get. Because, theoretically, every time you clear a cave, you could just immediately put all that put that free point into sword damage. But I guess the incentive against that is the fact that your damage does have a cap. So, you don't want to do that because then you're just wasting your... wasting your resources. But yeah, we have all the level ups we need. From this point on, level ups don't really serve to do anything because... There are no more upgrades after the- oh, crap. Well, never mind, we can just run through. So let's just get magic damage, and... Quick learning skill! You will get extra experience for every enemy you kill. Bonus EXP, basically. It's basically like an EXP up ability, so... We got another force roll. I feel like at this point, I have enough for another upgrade. And we'll check after. Still haven't reached a town yet, though. Then again, we have gone very far off the beaten path. Alright. Oh, never mind, here we are. We basically just went on a detour. Okay. I mean, once we reach a town, we'll see just how rich we are. Okay. Mm, lock this. See, Bubba's hiding under Anthony's bed. All right, here we are. There's an inn. I do have a funny story about that inn. More defense. More money. Jeez, I don't need more money at this point. More money. More stamina, which we'll take. We have 50k. For all from all those doors. Um, let me see. Do you wish to purchase the explorer's mask? With it in use, a magical door will appear in every town, allowing you to teleport. Yo, know, I feel like this is what the fast travel ability was before the fast travel ability was actually added. So it's basically just a worthless item. But anyway, anti magic med tra hit training. When using a med kit, you'll be immune to all magical spells cast upon you, but we already have magic immunity. Have magic immunity, so it's really worthless. We don't need that anymore. But that's that town. 
So let's go to the other town. There's still another town. Which will be a oh god. Yeah. And just like that, that's how you die to the weeping willow. I showed it off completely by accident, even when I was trying to. Well, that just goes to show you how things go sometimes. Sometimes things happen in ways you don't expect, you know? But now that we've basically... We haven't cleaned out the dead wasteland just yet. There are still parts of it that we haven't accessed yet. Not to mention that... Oh god, these fucking dudes still... Wow, did I kill him in like, two hits? Got the fire scale for some other quest. But fortunately, we we can find out where these things go. Alright, got those, get this. And we should be right near the next town. But we do have this, whatever the hell this is. I don't actually think I ever looked at this. Let's check it out real quick. Fire a bomb. Um, let's try here. Oh, it's just a screen nuke. All right, let's try the square next to it. There's a sign over there, so that must mean we're near the town. And one more down here. Well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> we already got three shots, and we used them all. Wait a minute. Why does this feel like... Yeah, I had a feeling. Well, I mean, it's not like it matters. We're immune to the undead. Never mind, that wasn't really hard. And we screen nuked the guys over here, so we're fine. North west is the town of Glimmer, and east to north is the ghost bog. Which sounds interesting. So I think we'll check out the ghost bog next time. But if we go north and west... I'm actually going to clear out this screen real quick. Hundred gold, not that much, but whatever. Another fuzzball. We have almost all of them, I think. If we find them all, we can get the up that one thing. But just like turning in the money for the shrine and eternal punishment, you have to do them one at a time, I'm pretty sure, instead of if you have all of them at once, you could just turn them all in one at once instead. But, but that. Five bombs makes up for the one I used. Oh, it's another witch. <laughs> Dark blade skill. You have a 10% chance of blasting all enemies with death when you land a hit. And we got the iron halo. And whatever the hell this is. More money. I'll actually take this health kit. Auto heal does kind of burn our health kits. Slowly but steadily. So it's honestly nice to just... Oh, shit. Ow. Alright, perfect. We should be near the town. Oh shit, run! But yeah, now we can blast enemies with death and we got a worthless level up. I know I haven't used my last level up, but... It's not worth it anymore because we can just upgrade. I have one upgrade left. I'll, I'll take that. 
I do want to see how many rare coins I can turn in. And just think, back at the start, we were f struggling to kill even the most basic of enemies, and now we just slaughter everything with no challenge. Nice. I did that one just because I could. And I'll do this one just because I could. So we should be there. Here we are! The Town of Glimmer! Ah. Uh, ah, uh, no, I don't need that anymore. More money for the shield. More money for this. What is this? Critical hit training. Sword swings. Um, what else do we got? Permanently upgrade your gun to the quad gun. This will enable you to fire all four directions at once. I mean, we have a death shot too, so, you know, we can still use that. You gain a 25% chance of shocking enemies with electricity when you land a hit. Fine. We have ice damage now, we have electric damage too. What do you want? Okay. 10 bombs, 10 med kits, 10 keys. Wow. Curse protection. Learning this skill will prevent those wicked witches from casting brutal spells on you. Okay, sure. And we don't need bomb damage because we are maxed out in bomb damage. Who are you? 214 rare coins. What's up here? Oh, this is... Wow, okay, we are just rolling in effects now. But I did say we were going to end it when we found the town, so... I will stick to my word after I unlock this. Thirty-five hundred. All right. Now that we've found both towns, three towns, all three towns here in the Dead Wasteland, next time we are going to finish our exploration of the Dead Wasteland, and we are going to go to the Fortress of Despair soon. Once we're done here in Glimmer and we explore the rest of the Dead Wasteland. I promise we're going to the Fortress of Despair, and I'm going to say it again, that's where my the negatives come in, and trust me, I don't, I'm not saying the things I say in the future to bash this game, because I say, because there are things about other games I don't like either, and I'm going to get to that when I get to that. So next time, I'm going to save this time to make sure I actually do it before ending, and we are going to go and finish our exploration of the Dead Wasteland. I will see you then.